Hey dear students, so the question for today's video is two small metallic spheres each of mass 0.2 gram are suspended as pendulums by light strings from a common point as shown in figure. The spheres are given the same electric charge and it is found that they come to equilibrium when uh, each string is at an angle of theta equals to 5 degree with the vertical. If each string has length at equals to 30 centimeter, what is the magnitude of charge on each sphere? So here is the diagram. Let us just... Uh, make a free body diagram of uh, this uh, let's just arbitrary pick this charge and make a free body diagram of this we will get something like this so let's just uh, understand what this free body diagram actually is this is the mass and uh, this is the weight that is mg acting downward uh, this uh, obviously it is attached by a string so there will be tension so it is tension force and if we have applied an electric field so it will direct it towards this side that is fe this is electric field why the direction of this uh, force is towards this side because these two are the same charges so it will repel this charge towards this side so that is why the direction of this force is towards this side so this is my free body diagram and uh, we need to do one more thing in it we have to split this tension component uh, in, uh, sorry we have to split this tension into its components uh, so let's just split this tension into its components so how can we do it here is my first component and this will be my second component so because this one is opposite so it will be T sine 5 degrees and this one is adjacent to uh, angle so it will be t cos 5 degree right students so uh, after splitting this tension into its components we don't need this anymore we will work with these components only so the next task is to find out the forces sum of forces on x-axis and sum of forces on y-axis so we can say that uh, because in the question we are said that the forces are in equilibrium right students so we can say that sum of forces along x direction equals to zero because the forces are in equilibrium and how many forces are there in x direction there are only two forces one is this and the other is this the direction of this force is towards negative x-axis whereas it's towards the positive x-axis so it will be t sine 5 minus fe equals to zero or we can say t sine 5 equals to fe let us just call this equation equation one we don't have any other information uh, for x-axis now let's move towards y-axis we can say that sum of forces along y-axis is also zero because of equilibrium right students so there are two forces in the y direction one is this mg that is weight and the other is this t cos 5 the direction of this is towards negative y axis so it will be t cos 5 minus mg so let's just write t cos 5 degree minus mg equals to 0 or we can say t cos 5 equals to mg now what we can do is we can find out the value of t from this equation and substitute in equation 1 so it will be t equals to mg upon cos 5 degrees so when i will substitute the value of this t in equation 1 my equation 1 will become i can say equation 1 will become mg upon cos 5 the value of t then sine 5 equals to fe then we know that sine 5 over cos 5 is tangent 5 so we can say that mg tangent 5 equals to fe so let's just call this equation equation 2 now dear students we know that this fe is basically coulomb's force and we know that coulomb's what is coulomb's law fe equals to k q1 q2 over r square right students let's just write this f equals to k q1 q2 over r square we know the magnitude of both charges q1 q2 uh, that is uh, 
point two uh, students. Sorry, it's mass, right, students? But we can collectively call uh, Q and Q two because the charges are same, so we can collectively call it Q square. But we have to work for this R square, right, students? Because we don't know the distance between the two charges. We don't know. So for this. Let's just make a simple uh, right angle triangle and then work on it. So students, this is my right angle triangle. Uh, let's call this side R dash because we don't know uh, uh, the distance from this M to this M. So let's just call it R dash. Why I have called it R dash, you will come to know later. And this uh, tension is basically L. So we have written L. Now, if I want to find out sine theta of this right angle triangle, it will be R dash over L because we know sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So let's just write sine theta equals to sine theta for this right angle triangle will be R dash over L. And if I want to find out R dash, it will be R dash equals to L sine theta. Right, students? So, this is my distance from this M to this. But we want complete distance from this M to this M. So, this is because half distance. And for complete distance, I need to multiply this by 2. So, my complete distance will be r equals to 2l sin theta. Right, students? This is the reason I call it r dash and not r because this was half distance, not complete distance. Now we have the value of r. We know q1, q2 and k as well in this fe equation. Let's just substitute all these things in this equation. So we will get fe equals to K. instead of q1 and q2 because the charges are same we can collectively say q square over instead of r square we can write 2l sine theta whole square right students then i can substitute this value of fe in equation 2 so my equation 2 will become mg tangent 5 mg tangent 5 is equals to the value of fe that is k q square over 2 l sine theta whole square now students i had to find out the magnitude that is q right so uh, uh, what i have to do is i need to uh, find this equation for q so the equation will become for q this equation will become q equals to under root of m g tangent 5 degree 2 l sine theta whole square divided by k e right students so now i know all the values uh, that is i know mass that is 0.2 gram i know g that is 9.8 constant i know tangent 5 i know 2 i know l that is uh, 30 centimeter sine theta theta is 5 degrees and ke that is coulomb's constant 8.9 and exponent 9 but don't forget to put all these values in the standard units so for standard units uh let's just substitute all the values in the standard unit m is in gram so for kg it will be 0.2 exponent minus 3 g is 9.8 tangent 5 then 2 l is 30 centimeter but in meter it will be 0 0.3 and sine theta is 5 whole square divided by 8.99 exponent 9 so when you will substitute all these things in your calculator you will get q equals to 7.2 exponent minus 9 coulomb and in nano coulomb you will get q equals to 7.2 nano coulomb so, so this is the magnitude and the magnitude of other charge will also be same because both the charges had uh, same properties right students so i hope you like the video do subscribe my channel and share with your friends as well and don't forget to comment your queries